What's going on everybody? It's Orange Hazing here today and we're going to be ranking every single drop location this season. So I think we have, let's see, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have 19 drop locations today and if you're wondering why it says like Tomato Town or it's like a weird picture of Loot Lake, it's just I couldn't find one and I didn't realize how to take pictures properly of these things. So this is what we have. This is I think two or three, even four years old by now, but we're gonna start. So first off, Junk Junctions. So we're gonna be rating these by like how popular it is. Like if it's super popular, it might be good or bad depending on where it is, how much chest it has, the layout. So I'm gonna put Junk Junction, I'm gonna put it in a C. It's only like five to ten chests that spawn there every time so it's not really that good of a drop but if you can you should go there next is haunting hills let's see let's see i think i'm gonna put it in i'm gonna put it in a reason why is because haunting hills might not have the best chest like it might have a little less chest than usual but the layout the amount of mats you can get there including how many you will drop there it is a pretty good place because you might just be the only person there. Next, Snobby Shores. Ooh. We're gonna put this one in uh, top A. Snobby Shores is because there's five houses there. Each one has a lot of chests. It is a little more, a lot more people do drop there. But if you're able to kill those people, you're able to get 10, 20 chests and get ready for endgame. Now we have Greasy Grove. Greasy Grove is an easy, let's see, S. We're gonna put this in S and actually Haunted Hills in B. I would say Greasy Grove is an S because there's so many chests. They have Greasy, gr we have uh, the Durburger, obviously. There, a lot of people do drop there, which is sometimes is good if you're playing ranked, for example, right now, because uh, getting kills is way more important than placement, unless if you're playing in a tournament. Now, Shifty Shafts. We're actually going to put Greasy in A, I changed my mind. Sh Shifty is a media S. You might be asking yourself, why is Shifty an S? The reason why I think Shifty should be an S is, A, it isn't just an above ground area. There is underground mines, which has saved me so many times. There are so many chests in every corner. There's around 15 to 25 chests that spawn there. That's around the estimate of how many spawn there per game. But basically, since it's underground, you're able to have quick getaways. Some people do drop there around like maybe five people per match. And the general layout, including that there's two houses, you can get a lot of kills and get stacked for mid late game. But now we have Tilted Towers. So, this one, I'm going to put in. Let's see, I'm going to put this in top of A. The reason why we're putting Tilted Towers in the top of A is there's way too many people that drop there, so it is good sometimes to drop there, but also sometimes you land and immediately get destroyed, but Phileo and loot there is amazing. Now we have Pleasant Park. We're going to put Pleasant Park in, let's see, I think I'm going to put it in like B tier. You might be asking yourself why I'm putting in Pleasant B. It's just, I don't really like the location that much. The, uh, the houses I tend to see only give you like one chest and normally when I drop there, the loot isn't that good. But then for Lazy Links, I'm going to put Lazy Links into D tier, top D. Almost D tier, but it's just, there's a lot of ATKs and quad crashers there right now in Fortnite Season OG Chapter OG. But even then, if there's only like a couple of houses and if you don't land at them, you're not really getting any loot, including that there's only like five chests there really there's barely any and then now dusty divot so let's see so remember this is for beginning drops not like late game or anything like dropping there at the very beginning of the match that is how we're like basing this off just the i'm not sure if i mentioned that but dusty we're gonna put dusty and top c the reason why we're putting dusty and top c is because Sometimes landing there is good if you're able to get the top landing because there's around I think five chests at the top two storage containers But if you go down below where all the trees are 
it's pretty hard to see enemies if they have like brown, gray, or green on, including that it's like in a pit. So someone could just stand at the top and shoot you. So it isn't really the best place to land. But now we have fatal fields. I'm gonna have to put fatal right here. You might be asking yourself, why am I putting fatal fields there? Reason is this update, they got rid of a big house inside of it and replaced it for a barn since it's like a different timeline. But basically because of that, there's almost no loot there or chests that is worth going there. So it's really, there's just really no point of going there entirely. We're at, and now Lucky Landing. I've landed Lucky, I think I've landed Lucky Landing only once this season. Honestly, I've, I've landed there a lot. We're gonna put it in B. You know, actually no, we're, yeah, we're gonna put bottom B just because most of the time you're not able to land there unless if the battle bus is directly on route. And also, the reason why I'm putting in B because of that is also there's a lot of chests there and a good layout for the drop. Now for Paradise Palms. We're gonna put Paradise in... We're gonna put it ahead of Snobby, but not ahead of Tilted Towers since Paradise Palms, the layout is good. You have a lot of places to go. There's mountains that can cover you and the loot pool is just great there. There's also a giant building that gives you a whole lot of loot. So it is pretty good. The only one problem that I have with it is sometimes you just don't get lucky there. Like, it's, the people who land there, it depends. You can have like one person or the entire lobby. It's just always a wild card. But now we have Retail Row. Honestly, Retail Row, we're gonna... Actually, take back what I said. We're gonna put Retail Row here and we're actually gonna put Paradise Palms up here. The reason why we're putting Paradise there is because uh, there's not really not that many downsides to it. But I'm gonna put Retail Row here is because just uh, how many people that land there is one concern. But also the loot. Since there are a lot of broken houses, you can easily get ambushed or killed because of the holes within them. So Retail Row is good, but I would rather land at these two. Lonely Lodge now is we're, we're going to create an entire new category. I'm not even sure if I can. Let's see. Add row below this. Okay. We add a row below. And now we're creating this. Let's see. We're making this F tier. So I think, I think you know what's going on in F tier. No, nope. bro. Okay, so give me a second. Okay, so I just fixed the little problem we had. We're putting this in F tier since honestly, it's just so bad of a drop spot. You barely get any loot there. Like there's only a couple of houses. That's why it's called Lonely Lodge. But also, if you have someone else landing with you, there's a very high chance they can kill you because the only two places you can get loot is like one house and a watchtower. And now for Wailing Woods. Wailing Woods here, huh, depends because it's sometimes good. We're gonna put top of C actually. We're gonna put it in C, yeah. The reason why we're putting this in C is because you get the middle drop area, but since uh, the volcano isn't coming this se next season or anything, this place isn't really that good since there's no underground lab or anything there now. It's just a little maze with like five chests. There are a lot of chests and areas around it, but just landing at it itself is not really the right move. Risky Reels, I'm gonna put bottom B. Risky Reels, a lot of people do land there, so I recommend you go to the four houses on the outskirts to get loot before going there, since it's a really open place with a lot of chests and the infamous, infamous kill, not kill, get seven chests at Risky Reels, but it is a good place to drop if you want a lot of kills and chests. So that's why I'm putting in B because I do like the location. Now we have Tomato Town. Ooh, where are we going to put Mr. Potato? Tomato Town. I cannot speak today. We're going to put Tomato Town in... Let's see, right now, it's this is like an old picture. It's right now Tomato Temple, technically. So Tomato Temple is going to go... See, I don't really land there. I'm gonna put it in bottom. I'm gonna put it in D because Tomato Temple 
Just the layout of it is all like janky and wonky because there's like areas you can hide and stuff. But honestly, the loot there just isn't really that good. There's only a few chests there and when you do get to the chest, another person might be there already. And now we got Flush Factory. Many of you think I would put it in F tier because it's bad. I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad. I'm actually going to put it into... Let's put it into... Right here on B tier. The reason I'm putting it right here is because Flush Factory does have a lot of chests. It's normally at the end or the beginning of a battle bus is one problem. And that means there's a lot more or barely anybody landing there depending on what you want to do. But then you have the inside which has a whole bunch of chests. It has good hiding spots, uh, good places to go. You could run off the map because that's there now where there's rifts. You could take off by the left or the right with an ATK or something. So it is a pretty good place. And now Loot Lake. Let's see. We're going to be putting Loot Lake into S tier. Wait, I just realized something. They entirely forgot Salty Springs. If you look, they don't have Salty here. Hold up, give me a second. I'm going to add it real quick. Okay, so we're back now. It took me like 15 minutes trying to figure this out. But we finally added Salty Springs into this. And we're going to do some reorganization. Salty is going into S. Top of S. Salty is one of the best locations. The reason why I say that is because the underground lab, I get like 5 kills there. Because people just keep coming down. And I keep killing them. But we are going to do a change. We are going to bring Greasy down to B. We're going to move this down to A. And we're going to put it right here. Then... So these are all just, I was thinking a bit, and this is my opinion. Now, Retail Row stay no. Retail Row stays, Snobby goes down to B, no, C. Snobby goes down to C. Lucky Landing stays above Flush Factory. There we go. That's what I'm feeling, because Retail Row, Paradise, and ta Tilted Towers are pretty good, but they aren't the best. And these three, in my opinion, are the best. So, in my opinion, in F tier, we have Lonely Lodge. In D tier, we have Lazy Links, Fatal Fields, Tomato Temple, Junk Junctions. In C, we have Wailing Woods, Dusty Divot, Haunted Hills, Snobby Shores. In B, we have Pleasant Park, Lucky Landing, Flush Factory, Risky Reels, Greasy Grove. In A, we have Tilted Towers, Paradise Palms, Retail Row, and finally, in my opinion, the best location to land this season are Salty Springs, Shifty Shafts, and also this one, uh, Loot Lake with the island. So anyways, I hope you all liked and enjoyed, and comment down below where you think these things should be. Later!